go to the bath. It's a long way up there, you can have an go there. Isn't it? As usual, charging ahead, yes. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Check these views out. Two minutes. Who say, Ma? That's the church my sister got married in. <laughs> yeah, I can't see it on the screen. Uh, I think that's it. So about to push bike for the way, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Would you want to go down there on the bike? Well, brakes on all the way. <laughs> uh, we'll be in a hurry, I can tell you that. Hello. Thing is, electric? Oh, no, you don't have to push it up here, and you can drive the thing up here. I wouldn't want to drive that thing down there, you can go flat out. <laughs> Long time ago, I used to do that stuff. You didn't have electric in your days. It wasn't electric in my days, no. <laughs> you just got Glen Corrick for us. Yeah. On the trails a bit. Yeah. Brilliant times, eh, man? Full of adrenaline. <laughs> Is it gone, man? <laughs> Only once I ever came off. Only once. Oh, that was the last day you went on it again. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was with my mate. My, with my mate. And uh, it was on a flat bit of ground with a tree stump that was just in the ferns. Didn't see a whack. Yeah. Straight over the handlebars. I was alright, not a mark of me. Yeah. How <laughs> you feeling, Mark? Yeah. Uh, a bit out of breath, like. Why? Oh. The last time I come this way, I don't remember it being this hard. <laughs> Although it was a long time ago. I've had my watch scream on me so much. <laughs> I think, good work. <laughs> I oh, think yeah. he's hitting his uh, weekly exercise, not yeah. daily. I passed that at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're headed up here now. I'm going to see if we can find one of the crash sites. I don't know. We'll see you now. See what we can see. I did think of maybe doing three, but. We're a bit late in the day now, maybe, to do all three. But that's me, and I get ahead of myself thinking, yeah, we'll do three. <laughs> nah, I think it'll be one. And uh, see how far we are off daylight and uh, find something nice to pitch. But, uh, whew, what a walk, innit? What a view. I know, check these views out. 
and I think that's Van Gerich. I think that's how you say it. I can't remember that. <laughs> Sleeping giant. And the wind mills over there. Are they? It's not Rigos, is it? Yeah, because beyond that, it's Butal Butt. The other oh, side. The windows, Butal Butt, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And I think Dana Rogov is just down by there. They're whipping them up everywhere. Isn't they, yeah. They? I think they look a lot better than uh, pylons. What do you Have guys you seen say? the one that looks like a daffodil? No, I haven't seen that. Oh, no, yeah, it's well like a daffodil. Is it? Uh, green, no stem, yeah. and then. Uh, yeah, low end for the petals, like for the blades. Good idea, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It actually looks, you know, quite well she like. Just a bit? Yeah, just a bit. I think they'll doubt, they There you go. All right. right. Yeah, chilling now, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going up, we are, killing us. the ridge you know a bit more gradual from you know not such a steep incline Whew. I'm glad it's not sunny today I tell you what now Matthew's charging head again he's just somewhere by there just below that dip so we're gonna go up over around and then uh, there's two crash sites to the left on by the riverbed. And then I want to go to the vampire, to be honest. And then if we get as far as Linnavan, I'll go up to the uh, Hans then. But if I don't, I don't. It doesn't matter. White as grass is. One little spark on that, and it goes up, and then you get uh, all mountain side on fire. Like in my last video, you could see all the ground all charred up. We are past burn season now, I think it's 31st of March, but some of these just start from people leaving bottles in the grass. and and it magnifies it and, and it just catches. Ah, uh, look, he's burnt himself out. Oh, there. <laughs> nice hike, anyway. Even though that hill up there is a killer, once you get up here, it's lovely. It's not so bad then. Well recommend it. Prepared for that first hour coming up. <laughs> right. Catch you in a bit. So I'm about to call now, yeah? Way to go, yeah. Up by next, huh? It's nice once you get up, yeah. Past that kill, there, eh? as I thought, now let the sweat get off your skin as you dry out a bit, yeah. And then start hiking again now. You're gonna make you're gonna get sweat, yeah. You, know, uh, you get cold, and yeah, that's why I've got these lightweight trousers on today, heavyweight, yeah. With my knee pads in a bit early, like, but you never know when you bump your knee. Oh, no, no, so that. I don't plan to fall in. Oof. Right, we made it to uh, one of the crash sites. It's the Vampire. It's 
quite a bit of it still here. Um, from what I remember, this one crashed in 1956, I believe. Um, it, I think, yeah, it hit the side of the mountain in fog, same as Lancaster that I was on on my previous video. Um, pilot died straight away on impact. Yeah, I know um, the search party, they carried him off the mountain a couple of days later. Yeah, terrible. But uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of it still here. I do remember the last time I was here though. I don't the seat was here. I can't see it though. Another piece of item taken again. But that's it. Those are the two booms going off the back. That's the old jet engine. There's a funny uh, looking plane. I'll um, I'll put a picture up here. Yeah. And apparently this uh, jet engine, when it was running, it couldn't stay on the tarmac longer than 15 minutes or it would melt the tarmac. This thing used to fly something like 500 odd mile an hour. I'll probably correct myself. Yeah. 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 There's um I read an article uh where the rescuers obviously when they used to come up back in a war to to try and rescue some of these pilots to see if any were alive. There was an article saying that uh, the villagers called it um, the hoodoo has struck again because there's about five or six up there. Yeah, old wives' tales, you know. We were hoping to go up and do the other one, but it's a bit late in the day now, so that is still another one I haven't found. And um, the story I wanted to give with that one was. Uh, it was a passenger plane and uh, that struck the top there. Uh, the two passengers survived. I believe it was the pilot that died, I think, and the navigation, uh, navigate, navigating pilot. I think he was still alive. Um, and the rescue party apparently were about 200 yards from the plane with the stretcher and when they gave up. Um, because obviously it was so foggy they couldn't find it and um, what I read in the article was on that plane that one of the rescuers had wrote to the RAF to suggest that every pilot should uh, carry a whistle because if he'd had a whistle and he was alive they may have uh, heard it yeah I might be wrong whether because of that letter that they had that uh, all pilots now carry whistles, but uh, yeah. So that will be another one that I'll have to come up and find. That is the only one that I haven't found, and it's the easiest one as well, apparently. So, so yeah, it's amazing how intact this one is. Quite a bit, yeah. graffiti in for shame on you I will say on the last video that I did the Lancaster where I said the cylinder head was missing but I had to look back on some photos and there's a lot more than the cylinder head because there used to be a big pile, a mound of um, parts from it that are just gone. I just can't believe people are carrying stuff off. It's unbelievable. Yeah, so if you guys are thinking of coming and finding these and looking at them, don't take them, please. You know. Yeah. Right. I'm going to take a couple of photos now. 
and then we are off back up the ridge we left our packs up there and we are calling it today on the hike in for today and we are gonna pitch up watch the sun go down have a couple of beers make some food and relax and i will leave the Anson for next time catch you in a bit Right, we found our pitch. Nice level plateau, is that what you want to call it? <laughs> and we got all this to look at. And then up on this little ridge. And we got all that. And we're gonna watch that go down as best as we can. <laughs> Just beyond that mountain there, all the way over, is my village where I live. I like this place. Love it. Right then. Let's get this time lapse on the go. Set up and Matthew's tent duck and mine. And I've got plenty of water this time. I got a garland and I put some fury tabs in there as well. So, plus, I'll filter them and get rid of some of that chlorine taste. So, yeah, one garland, four and a half litres, four and a half tablets, but I put four in. Should be all right because I'm gonna run it through the filter as well anyway. So yeah, usual setup. My little thermal old-fashioned roll mat and a hex bed, technology pillow, uh, 
my old rab flannel pillow yeah and uh, I got myself a new pot this time look at that little bad boy a little litre like a little kettle the top can be a frying pan as well yeah it's not bad I think it's 20 pound it was it was um, when I boiled my water last time um, the rest I tipped into my water bottle for the morning it tasted a uh, tinny so I thought if I get stainless steel I shouldn't do it should I but there we are it so I don't have half eating chicken eating chicken eating popcorn jam <laughs> nice see you innit look at this it uh could do with a little bit more high clearance but uh yeah Mm. Matthew on the old scrumpy. Six yeah. cans of scrumpy. Whoa. I'll try him out. <laughs> He'd be like this. Off the mountain tomorrow, no? uh, good job you're not driving. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? I got one or two there. I'll be alright. Yeah. So. I got uh, four cans of inches. Yeah, something like that. Only small ones, yeah. That's some food now. Wind has died down now as well. Lovely. Totally silent. Matthew's bugger. He's whacked. He's absolutely tired. Oh, he's oh, you're about going for a kip just now. <laughs> yeah. You're 14 year old again. What? Come one up in the afternoon. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Look at these views. Rain's coming in tonight. As usual, Matthew's with me, it's right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring it back in a bit. Gotta take you in the next. Ah, uh, boiling some water up now for the old pot noodles. Go for pot noodles this time, with me, Math. Yeah. <laughs> the old pot is pretty cool, like. The lid is nice and secure on it. So I should boil my water a bit quicker. Rain is set in now as well, eh, Matt? Yeah. Not too bad, though. Yeah. Who's the rain? Matt, who's using the old uh, transient stove? Uh, I'm using a pan as well. Boil the water. We were out earlier looking. And over in the distance, we can see a light on the hill. Somebody's out camping over there tonight as well. And uh, I was looking over towards the mountain that I can see from my house. Um, up behind where I live, there's two, well, there's three uh, wind turbines. Two together, one just off to the left. And you can see the red lights on them. And it's surprising, I'm like, oh, I can see my house. You know, so far away, but we can see it up here. Yeah, not a bad night to be, Matt. Oh, nice hike. Oh, hell of a hike. We should have a power and have a lot now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a tough old walk up there. We've got this all set in for tonight now, eh? Yeah. A nice little spot. Nice views. <sighs> Tired now though. Way deeply now, as we say, you know. Right. If you have sin on me. Huh? If you have sin normally. Yeah. I bought some of these um uh, down trousers. Old uh, 
Dai from uh, Camping Wild and Dragon. That's right, isn't it? Is that right? Yeah. Sorry, Dai. <laughs> Advise me to get some. Oh, man. What a game changer. It's like wearing a sleeping bag. I've been boiling all night. I checked the thermometer. We're only supposed to be down to five Celsius, but we're down to uh, just under two. Oh, my digital one. Surprising. Wind's starting to pick up now, eh? Yeah, I can see the wind getting out of the sun. There's about yeah, two, three hours out of the sack loading again. Yeah, this keeps spraying water on me. I use my Trek impulse as a... Uh, Ports to hold the porch door open, is it? I don't know if you can see it. Hang right, on. How are you doing there, Marth? Too bad, Paul, with that big bright light. <laughs> can make it brighter if you want. Can you tell? <laughs> I see a thing now. Look at your lossy night vision now, though. Yeah. Cause he does that. Everything's just gone. I just got a circle ring in my eyes, though. Know? Oh, that's just the halo above my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For some of you that are wondering, I bought one of these. I think it was 20 quid. And uh, it's so light and so bright. And then I use my battery pack off it. And that has been on for three hours and I've still got four four lights. Which is a full pack. That is actually lighter than my main torch, which I've stopped bringing now. And it gives off so much light. And it's got different settings for, you know, warm light and all that and you can turn it down it's brilliant fits in a pack lovely i did think oh what am i buying it for but uh, it's brilliant it's great and for poor cameras that have poor light settings or whatever not i'm saying gopro is poor light but it doesn't pick very well footage up very well in the dark Right, I'll be going back in a bit. people oh my gosh I am tired this morning that hike took it out to me yesterday what do you say Raf you awake yeah I'm breakfast now I'm having hot chocolate oh hang on let's have a look oh look at the fog the clag has rolled in Breakfast got Cocoa Pops. Cocoa Pops. <laughs> <laughs> while the <laughs> Just like the kids have. While the world is cooking bacon for breakfast, camping, Matthew's having Cocoa Pops. Oh, let's have a look. I'm not getting up to the tent. Not yet. Oh, it is white. It is a white out. Well, we had a nice night anyway. Two yeah, sides. Well, the hell not, not too bad like that. No, it was alright. On and off, light rain. Yeah, nothing heavy. It was quite relaxing actually. I had two ciders and that's it. Some food. Oh, 
I tell people I only had two ciders, they won't believe me. <laughs> yeah, put the world to rights and then put straight to sleep. Had a comfy sleep anyway. It's the main thing. Another one. Oh. I'm going to get a coffee on the go now. Boiled eggs again. And uh, time to pack up and go home. Oh. It is white. Hmm. Coffee warmer on the top. Sticky toffee pudding for breakfast. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dessert before dinner. Then eh? I've been carrying that. Um, Sticky toffee put in for about a year in my backpack. It's done some miles. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so I decided I'm having it for breakfast. <laughs> see if it was worth carrying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see if it was worth carrying. Eh? Yeah. It's nice to replace another one. Yeah. Carry out for another two years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The cold bath? It is uh, to the mist. It's it is. The mist. A surprise there. Eh? Plus, as well, you're not moving, see? Yeah, well, there's no rain now, so it's nice out there. Yeah. And my uh, tent's not as tall as yours, see? No. It's a bit tight tent. Good for sleeping, eh? not good for no. socialising, eh? Black out as well, innit? Eh? Yeah. Oh, we'll make a move this morning now. I'm already on my backside this time, boss. It won't work twice. <laughs> well, you've been falling over. Like you did like you did last time. Yeah. Uh, you gotta get up first. Come on. Hoorah! <laughs> right. That's us packed up. Right away, clean, tidy. That's where Matthew's tent was. That's where my tent was. Nice dry patches. And that was our wonderful view, which is gone. And we are in the clag. Hang on, no water on you. Yeah, we are in the clag. Good job I know the way back. <laughs> I think, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I got a compass and everything anyway, if I do get lost. Yeah. So yeah, so we'll see now what footage we get on the way back. <laughs> fog, fog and more fog. It's not going to be much different than this, but uh, we'll see. Hello. Could be different on the other side of the mountain. Could be, could be, could be. Right. Let's go home. Right then. When we were here yesterday, we had a lovely view all out there. Look at it now. Complete white out. Are you coming a bit closer, man? No. <laughs> Close enough for me, man? Yeah. One slip is a. Uh, I'm a good few metres away. I'm safe enough. We just passed. No yeah. We just passed a couple now. They were going up. Were they? Yeah. I don't know whether to turn back because you think the fog is getting thicker. I think it is. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah if he's coming in, isn't he? Not going away. Oh, yeah. This is in for the day now. It'll get worse than us. Right, let's go.
Say it again. Then we're out to the fork and we can see the pub. Now. We can see the pub. I'm on my energy. Where is it? Hang on, there's the trees. It's there somewhere. No. Well, it's only a small lens on this bit. I'll probably see it on the video and I'll be looking at it going, ah, you my bet. It's to the right. <laughs> yeah. We're on our way down now. Last stretch home. To the pub for there. Jump in the van and home. Been a long walk. Still 10,000 footsteps to go, Paul. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Right, onwards. <laughs> right, what? Yeah. That's for the dogs? <laughs> this is for Paul. Right, this is for me. It's a welcome sight, this gate is. I'm all the way up there. Woo! Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> How you feel it, Moth? Uh, I think when I take the park off now... It's going to be lovely. It's going to be lovely. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I'm going to feel when I go back. Uh, Such a scenic... Going down yeah. Such a scenic little park this is, isn't it? I know, it's nice. It's nice, it's nice huh? It's stoned off both sides as well. Yeah. This is for the car, does it? Yeah. Look how high up the walls are. Come on. Oh. Look at me. Glowing red. Oh. Well, we're at the end of our hike now. It's been nice. Been tough. As you can see, look. State to me. Colour to me. <laughs> there, yeah. Right. Well. To the van now. Look at that. And then we will sign off. Oh, look at the little sheep. Right.